a mythic bitch. God, Heather, did you have a brain tumor for breakfast? Hello, everybody. Yes, I know. Your baby looks like a Heather. <laughs> I had a birthday party this weekend, and I had a Broadway birthday party where I dressed as a Heather Chandler. Unfortunately, my SD card with all of my footage from the party was wiped. The file is corrupted. I can't get anything back. So this morning, a week after my party, I have dressed up as Heather Chandler for everybody here. <laughs> I'm not a professional cosplayer, obviously. This is actually my first time ever cosplaying. So it was a bit of a an experience. My costume, my wig, it all looks a bit crap, but here is my, my take on it. The majority of what I got was from Amazon, apart from my skirt that was from ASOS. So in this video, I'm going to be also answering some of the questions that are from my giveaway video that I will leave up here. Basically, I did a Heather's canvas that is going to be sent out very, very soon to the lovely Morag. I went through the questions and I basically, in this video, whilst I'm getting ready, decided to answer some of the questions that were to do with Heather's. So even though this is a tutorial, it's also a QA. and a I really hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, please do give it a big thumbs up and please do subscribe down below and also click the notification bell so you are notified when I upload. And um, thank you so much for all of your support, always. I love you all, I love Broadway, and I love sharing my love for theatre. Yeah, let's jump into it. God, I just fell over. <laughs> Let's do some questions related to Heathers. If anyone's bothered, I use a vino cream as my moisturizer. It's really good. So, Kat, who is 19 from Georgia, and she said, who is your favorite character in Heathers? It would have to be Veronica. I actually wanted to go as Veronica for this party, and basically one of our housemates couldn't, couldn't come with us. You can't have two Heathers and a Veronica, can you? So I bit the bullet. Yeah, I think that Veronica has the best songs. I think that she's the coolest. I'm using a Kat Von D Locket foundation, by the way. I think especially for like a party and stuff, I think you want quite a heavy foundation. It is quite a, a heavy one um, because obviously, you know, when you're dancing and you've got bright lights and you want in photos and stuff. Okay, Haley, she's 13 and she is from Texas. And she said, um, have you ever been in Heathers? And if not, who would you want to play? I haven't been in Heathers, um, but if I was, I would want to be Veronica or JD because I like playing a baddie. Jesus, I'm so pale. Just whack it on there, Amy. We're not fancy over here. Yeah, I was actually really nervous about trying to be Heather Chandler, because I think that, like, she's such, like, a pretty girl character, like, as a bit of a minga myself. I was a bit nervous of, like, people being like, why are you trying to be Heather Chandler? But, um, it was quite fun. Alexandra, who is 17, said, who's your favourite Heather? I'm now going to set it, by the way, just with a loose setting powder. My favourite Heather would have to be Heather Chandler, though. I always love a baddie. So, I got the So Does Nails palette from from Revolution and I'm just using the colour hug which is this one. I normally make my eyebrows quite dark but because I'm going for a blonde I want them to be a little bit lighter. I hate doing my eyebrows, why is that a thing? Lots of people asking if I could be one Heather's character who would I be? Next person is Cece who is from Italy. <gasps> That's cool. She's turning 17 in a week. Oh, oh, happy birthday. Question for you is, have you ever done a, a cosplay? Hello, that's what we're doing. Would you do one? Yes. And what's your dream cosplay? Do you know what? I keep circling back to Wicked in my mind because I think that like those costumes are so gorgeous. And you know, um, Elphaba's no good deed dress. Oh my Lord. Could you imagine? But I am not cute in green. Isabel, who is 14 from Adelaide, Australia. <laughs> Oh my goodness, going down under. And what is my favorite song from Heather? It is Dead Girl Walking Reprise, because those notes that Barrett Wilbert Weed hits, I just can't even. So like eyeshadow wise, I'm just putting like a base coat on at the moment. Heather Chandler in like all of the pictures and stuff, she does a pretty, a pretty basic look. Now I like to go quite strong on an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go for like warm tones. So yeah, it's all gonna be done on the Soap to Nails palette. I'm gonna be using these four colors here. Then I'm going to be using my Tarte Make Believe in yourself palette that my friends Fern and Charlotte got me for my birthday so but I'll talk through the colors and stuff that I'm gonna use in case you would like to recreate this look so I'm just going to use this shade here in the top right hand corner as a blending shade I never go right up to my eyebrow they're like a bit of a gap there so I'm just kind of going around the crease the next 
question is Tabitha. Um, I'm now just adding some kind of darker brown, which is just this one here. I'm um, just above the one that I used for my brows. Favourite thing about Heather's the movie that's different to Heather's the musical. I think the relationship between Winona Ryder and Christian Slater in the movie is a lot more exciting than in the musical. I think that in the show, I'm not as kind of interested in their relationship in the show. I'm more interested in them as solo characters, whereas in the movie, I think that they're more of like a duo. And it's... So now once I've done this, I'm going to get a smaller brush and I'm just going to get this shade here. I'm just going to go underneath my bottom lashes. Okay, so the next person is Gwen, who is 11. Gwen said, if you could play a full game of Monopoly with two Heathers or Hamilton characters, who would those characters be? I've not played Monopoly in a really long time. So by the way, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to not do a full cut crease, but I'm going to basically just put some concealer over my full lid just because I think it makes it a bit more interesting. It looks so gross when you put it on though, doesn't it? Uh, this is horrible. Full game of Monopoly. Probably, I'm so generic. I would say Veronica and, I'd say Martha and Veronica, because I think that they'd be a laugh. Martha would bring sparkle inside her, you know. Okay, so now I look sufficiently disgusting. I'm gonna put some sparkliness on my face. So I'm using this gorgeous Tarte palette. Oh my goodness, I've always wanted a Tarte palette. And Charlotte and Fern bought me one for my birthday, so big old shout out to those amazing ladies. So, because I'm going for Heather Chandler, and we're doing like a ready kind of warm tone look, I'm gonna go for a bit of crystal, and I'm just doing that from the outside and working my way in over on the concealed bit that I just did on my eyes. I'm next in the middle gonna do Pixie, which is this one. And I'm gonna do that right in the middle, and then right in the corner, I'm going to use the central colour. I actually don't know what that's called, but it's just like a pale kind of white. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Now, all I'm going to do is just blend over the corners just so it's not so cut there. Right, I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera because I can't do it with one hand. So I just did my eyeliner and mascara off screen. I would normally put fake eyelashes on and I did for the party, but basically after the party I took them off, I took them to the, I put them on the side, my sister threw them away so I can't really use those. So, Cheyenne Cheyenne said, what's your favourite Heather's quote? My favourite Heather's quote is Veronica says, I, know, I didn't catch your name and JD says, I didn't throw it and you're like I love it so much, I think it's great. Um, so at the moment I'm just putting some bronzer on. I'm not a blonde, I'm a very pale person. A warmer face looks so much better, especially when I put my wig on. So I'm gonna basically do a bit overboard with the old bronzer there. And now comes on to my favorite part, highlight. Oh my goodness, highlight is my fave. So I have the other Soft as Nails palette here. This is her highlighter palette. And I'm going to use this one here and also a bit of this one. I'm just gonna put a bit of highlight on my brow bone just here. And then last but not least, on my face, I need to do lip. Lipstick. I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner Mary Jo K lipstick. I have super duper tiny lips. You'll be able to tell, obviously. Um, so I, and I also lick my lips all day, so I don't actually wear lipstick that much. But obviously, for a special occasion. And there we have it. That is my Heather's makeup done. Now onto the hair. So I am wearing a blonde wig. So I need to pin curl my hair. So Darius said, if I was given the opportunity to play Heather Chandler, Martha or Veronica, who would I play? As I say, I would love to play Veronica. She's my favorite character. But I would love to play any of them. I've said before, I think that like, if I was to play a role in Heather's, I think I'm probably the most suited to Martha. Looks wise and everything, I would never be cast as Heather Chandler. So that's why I love doing cosplay and stuff because like, it'd be characters that you wouldn't be in real life. Okay, so the next person is Jasmine, who is 13. How did you discover Heathers slash your journey in obsessing over Heathers or your thoughts on Heathers? I just want a Heathers video. Well, Jasmine, you got your wish, girl. How did I hear about Heathers? I remember the first time I ever listened to Heathers, but I don't remember who told me about it. My housemate, Charlotte, went to see it at the New World Stages. This is her playbill when she saw it off Broadway. I think it was probably Charlotte who told me about Heathers. Okay, hello, lads. I have officially pink curled my entire hair. So now I'm going to put on my wig cap, which I just threw over my head. A wig cap is basically tights for your head. Now this is a sexy look. This is a great wig because it has a lot of grips inside. I actually really didn't need to pin it much for the party. And also, um, as I say, is a lace front, so it looks like it's coming out of your scalp. 
Now here's the difficult thing with a with a lace front because you obviously have all of the extra material at the front of your hair. Um, I'm actually going to style my hair first. So what I did the other day is I pulled out bits to make a fringe. So I pull out just the front of the hair here and then I kind of hold it to the side like this. That's cute. <laughs> okay so now then once you have bits up at the side you want to just flatten those with your fingers and then I just pop it through. Once we've done that obviously you want the Heather Chandler fringe. Now then, you want to actually pin right into your wig because you want it to make it look really like it's kind of as natural as possible. So once you've done that, the red bow. So I just did a tie and a simple bow on the top. So now, as I said, I want to just lighten this bit a little bit. That's honestly about as pale as I'm gonna get it, but in your photos, if you are doing cosplay and things, you can't really see. And if you do go to like a cosplay event, people are used to seeing lace front wigs, so that's like not an issue really there. Um, but really that is about as light as I'm going to get it. So now it's just a matter of getting into costume. So then, first things first, because I was going to a party, I actually didn't want to wear a shirt, so I got a polo shirt, which still gives the look of having a costume and buttoned all the way up to the top. It's just a bit more movable. When you're going to a party and you're dancing all day, I just personally think it is a little bit more comfortable. I bought this pin from Amazon. What you want to do is have it right about here and then I just tuck that in. So when you've got your skirt on, it's time for the red blazer. <laughs> Now then, let's be honest, no Heather's costume would be complete without props. Unfortunately, my knee socks never actually arrived, so what I did was just wore black tights with my dress and some high heels. And I will show you a full length picture right here. <laughs> okay, so you're dressed as Heather Chandler and you've got your croquet mallet, but really where would you be without some bleach? <laughs> um, so what I did for my bleach prop was I got an old carton of milk, I emptied it out and then inside I put some bubblegum flavoured pop and my sister made me a label. So at the party all night And there we have it. I really hope that you enjoyed this Heather Chandler costume thing. If you're interested in me doing any others, I would really like to do a Veronica one, um, so please do let me know and I will certainly do that. Yeah, I really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everybody who put questions in for my giveaway. And thank you so much for just being lovely people all the time. I love you so much. Um, I will see you soon. Bye! Corn!